haven't had hot chocolate in so long. Mm. Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Shamira Elaine. For those of you who are new, for those of you who are not new, thank you all so much for coming back and supporting everything I do here with my channel. By the title of this video, I am going to be doing a mask and chat. I have been trying, this is a complete sad note real quick. I've been trying to upload, what is it, Vlogmas Day 4 for two days, okay? Two days. <laughs> and it still isn't like uploaded and stuff. And I wanted to upload that vlog before I uploaded this video because they kind of coincide with one another. But it's neither here nor there. Both videos are going to be uploaded, so it doesn't really matter the order in which you watch it. Before we get into everything, one, make sure you're subscribed to my channel yes you watching this video most people who watch my videos are not subscribed so do me a favor and subscribe it would mean the world to me give this video a thumbs up put a comment down in the comment section below and let's just get into this video so by the title of this video i'm going to be doing a mask and check like i said before i actually got this idea from a vicky logan she used to do a lot of like mask and chats where she would try different masks and just chat about different stuff um so that's what i'm gonna be doing today but i kind of wanted to give you all sort of like a life update a little bit um i usually give like life updates in a regular video or doing a chit chat get ready with me but i kind of wanted to try something different so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be trying i'm not really trying this mask because i've used it plenty of times but it is um from the feeling beautiful what beautiful <laughs> feeling beautiful freeman brand the avocado clay mask i'm gonna do a close-up for you all that's the mask that i am going to be using um i have another mask from the same brand but it does something different to the skin but i really kind of just want to clean out some of the gunk and that's what this mask is really good for my hands are already clean i wash them because i like to apply my mask with my hands and i have my hot cocoa which is super good with some marshmallows i thought i had some whipped cream left over and i didn't mm. look at that so i'm gonna apply this mask i have my mirror and I'm going to put it on like the magnify side so I can truly see myself. Push my hair back. But yeah, you guys, a lot has happened since uh, we last spoke. And I'm trying to think if I want to apply the mask and then like check. But yeah. And his mask feels so good when you put it on. Like it's super cold and I did not chill this mask or anything like that. I don't know if that's just like the nature of it to be cold like that. Do masks expire? That's a good question. I should research that myself. I think I actually put this mask on when I did my um, pamper routine. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you do so. I'm going to put it up here <laughs> for you all to go watch it. But as soon as I put this mask on, we're going to check because I got a lot to say. If this gets on your eyebrows, it's really not that big of a deal. It doesn't do anything. I have a foot mask too that I could have put on, but I'm not. That's just going too much right now. I don't really know where to start because it's not really like a start and an end but basically gonna get to the point really really quick so um some of like my close close friends know and like family and stuff like that and some people don't um to me it's really not that big of a deal um but i think i kind of owe it to myself like i talked about in the vlog i talked a lot about this in like the vlog it's just kind of like talking about the situation and like what happened and so forth and kind of just making other people knowledgeable and aware of like this type of situation because i do feel like it's super unique it's not something that typically happens on like a regular basis basically 
Um, some of you might remember the video I had about the Secret Service coming to my uh, mom's house because of a tweet that I uh, tweeted about like Trump and stuff like that. So I took that video down. That's neither here nor there. But basically, because of the tweet, I was technically um, let go from my internship and then suspended from Loyola. Like, I feel like it's one of those differences of opinion type things. Like it's kind of one of those things where whoever is in power kind of has the last say no matter what i say no matter what i do it's kind of just your interpretation and perception versus mine and there's a lot of gray area um, a lot of what they were talking about was that i violated the policies you know, student policies employee policies whatever the case may be but again those areas are very very gray and I don't think that I violated, you know, anything, but they do. Just a lot of gray area. I do feel like it was those consequences should not have been given to me and as a result of like that type of stuff. I don't know what consequences I would have given myself. I don't know. Like I just feel like that's just what happened. I mean, pretty much like that's what happened. So I'm at the point now where I don't have a job. I'm doing Uber and stuff like that, so it's been like pretty okay. Uh, I'm making the same amount that I was making like doing internships. So nothing more, nothing less. I don't have like an actual job and I'm technically not in school uh, because I am suspended and I don't plan on going back. So that's just kind of where I am right now. Um, a lot of people have been asking me as far as since I'm not in school, then that means that I kind of like wasted that time or I won't get anything or have anything to show for that time, which is partially incorrect. I mean, after the first year of, our, of my program that I was in, you do get a master's of education degree, which I do have. So I did get at least something out of the program. I just wouldn't get the education specialist degree, which you would have gotten in May. For graduation so i just don't have that and to me like it was perfectly fine it wasn't that big of a deal um i didn't want to finish because it's only what five months until the program is over so i felt like it was kind of unnecessary to suspend me until may 4th um, because then if i wanted to i would have to start internship all over in the fall and that's just not something that i want to do i don't even i don't i don't want to finish Y'all, those are just my feelings now. I feel like they keep changing over time, but eventually uh, I am just going to go back. So I've been like looking for jobs and stuff like that, um, doing stuff that I actually wouldn't mind doing for more than three, four, five years. And it's something I'm actually stuff that I actually enjoy doing that also gives me the leisure and the freedom to be who I want and run my business and create a brand and you know like do all of those other steps like in between I don't feel like school psychology allowed me to do that they want you to stay in this box and that's just not me I'm not a person who stays in boxes I'm not even a person who follows directions okay so like those types of careers just like aren't meant for my type of personality which is okay you know I've had to tell myself this all the time like since it happened like it's okay you know like it happened life goes on you live and you learn and you move forward you don't dwell in the situation that you're in for so long to the point where it discourages you or just gets you in this state where you are hopeless um, or feel like everything is your fault or feel like you know all of those negative thoughts and stuff like that like I just took it as a learning experience and just moving forward and really like pushing forward and putting 100% effort into like every move that I make thus far. So it sucks at the end of the day because I mean, if y'all have been following my like grad school journey, y'all know how hard it was for me financially to just be able to uh, pay all my bills and stay on top of everything and get myself out of debt. So this literally like worsened it you know so i'm just like trying to get in the right head space to be able to deal with that and yeah find another job that's you know gonna notice my worth and be able to say look you made a mistake but you know let's keep on going and i don't feel like loyola or cps did that for me it was like you made a mistake that's it you know so there there was no room for like opportunity or you know anything like that i don't feel like black people especially from low income, I'm from the hood, okay? I'm from the projects. 
I don't feel like we're given a lot of opportunities and then when we're given opportunities it's like once you make a mistake it's like that's it you know people don't it's like they they want you to it's, I ain't gonna say they want you to make a mistake but it's like you make a mistake and then they don't even allow you to like recuperate or redeem yourself it's kind of just like the end all be all and I need a place that is gonna acknowledge that people make mistakes everybody is not going to do everything you say and that's okay you know life is about evolving and understanding the gray area and being able to compromise about that gray, gray area life is not black and white it's not and we're teaching people and teaching kids that life is black and white and it's not so i know myself a little bit more now and understand that i want a job where i can be able to maneuver in that daisy i want a job that i can maneuver in that gray area and explore that gray area and get people to challenge themselves and their way of thinking about gray areas if that makes sense to you all so that's kind of like where i am right now um no ill feelings it's kind of just like it is what it is i don't know i kind of no lie like when it first happened i kind of felt some way when not i i'm not gonna say i felt angry but i did feel a little disappointment when like you know friends didn't reach out to me like friends who knew about like what happened you know like friends didn't reach out to me or like you know anything like that and i understand how like some people think like oh you know she's going through a hard time i'm gonna you know just like leave her alone for a little bit you know and stuff like that but to me i don't know maybe just me like that's just not being a true friend and like I was just tweeting about like me learning what a true friend actually is and how to express you know the love that you have for your friends and how that is different you know for everybody and I don't know I was just disappointed a little bit because I would have people that I didn't know for a long time like my supervisor like you know my supervisor at CPS um, you know texting me like almost every other day throughout the week you know asking me if i was okay if you know um the progress are there any updates you know kind of trying to get me back on that right step or my mentors or you know and then it's like you hear nothing from other people you know which is cool essentially but i don't know like i did kind of like feel a little bit disappointed the situation is like i said very unique and very unbelievable to an extent like I do feel like this is some shit that is in a movie I when it first was happening I kid y'all not like y'all can ask Darius I was just like man life is over everything that I worked for went down the fucking drain like that's literally how I felt like everything that I literally worked for was like gone but essentially it's not I could just transfer everything over to something new you know so it ain't my loss, it's theirs. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, I ain't lose out on nothing. But what, some extra money that I can go get from somewhere else? I didn't lose out. Y'all lost out, you know. And it took me to this point to realize that I add worth to other people's business, other people's jobs, other people's lives. So when it doesn't work out, I don't de like my, my value doesn't decrease theirs do you know so once I got that in my mind I'm just like look I got some bigger things planned everything is a everything happens for a reason I was put on this path for a reason and we'll see w what it's looking like okay I hope that this journey is something that you all will continue on with me even though I'm not in grad school and you know stuff like that but I do hope that you all continue to still support me on YouTube and watch my videos and you know because it's only up from here pretty much so I've been talking for hmm, about 15 minutes the mask is getting like tight and it's dry so or it's dry in some places i still feel like the wetness and the coolness of the places so i usually leave it on for about like 20 minutes and then i rinse it off with warm water mm. let's do a thumbnail
Now that everything is all dry, I'm gonna go in the bathroom, rinse off with warm water, and moisturize my face and come back. Ooh. Smoother than the baby's bath. Look how soft that look and glowy. Okay. Before I close out this video, I just want to just give some encouragement to myself <laughs> and anybody else watching this video that feel like, you know, certain situations have happened and it kind of just knocked them back to level zero when they were already at level 58. Okay. It is not over. It is not over. It's just a new beginning. Okay. Take everything that you learned from your past. Take everything that you learned from that situation and apply it to the next one. That's really all you can do. Life is not over. You was blessed with another day. You was blessed to smell the fresh air, to look and talk to your loved ones, to just be a better version of yourself. And you can't take that for granted. Even though it feels like hell. Even though it feels like hell, you got to keep, you got to brush it off. You got to keep going because that is what is going to make you stronger. That resilience is key. And a lot of people don't have that, okay? So feel grateful that you're able to gain some resilience in your life along the way. So just want to thank everybody that has given me some encouragement along this journey. I love y'all so, so, so much. And yeah. This is the start of a new Shamira Lane, okay? But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.